everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about product fails. These products have not done me well and we are here to talk about them. This isn't an outrageous amount of product by any means, but these are products that I've tested over the past few months that just, mm, they just have not done it for me. They've been a fail. So if you have not already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and let's go ahead and get started. This is no hate to any single one of these brands um, whatsoever, you know? I um, haven't, all, haven't tried every single one of these brands, but I do believe that there is good in every brand. So just because this one certain thing sucked does not mean that everything sucks from the brand. First thing, okay. This is the Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. This is what it looks like. I got this in a box from, I think I got like almost everything I have right here in a boxy charm. It is a great way to try products and I love doing it. I have a whole playlist of me unboxing boxy charm boxes. I'm gonna link that down below. A lot of the products that I find in there, I absolutely love, okay? Like the powder I'm wearing today, the Too Faced Born This Way, I got this in a boxy charm. Like, love it, but this, is, but this, I did receive a box charm. It's, okay, there is a difference between illuminating and glitter. Okay, this is glitter. Okay, it just, there are fine things of glitter. It just feels like, icky i don't know how to describe it i wouldn't describe it as an oil but it just like feels like a sticky serum almost like a tacky serum and if you i don't know if you can tell on camera but in real life you can see literal flecks of glitter and i just i've tried it under makeup and stuff and it just it did not work well for me so i am saying this is a pass if you see this in sephora or online I am gonna recommend that you do pass on this. The next one is this, I don't know how to say it, it's Pure Lease. How do you say that? I don't know. This is the perfect, this is the perfect glow BB cream. Okay, this is in um, a K-Beauty brand. This, okay, first off, this is light. And honestly, it was really dark on me. It doesn't look, like that's that's too dark for me okay um second thing it, even with primer and a good powder this broke down on me so bad okay i know this is a perfect glow bb cream it says it's supposed to be oil free and it's supposed to be natural looking coverage matte meets glowy finish this just broke down sunk into my fine lines and just felt like a mask it didn't like blend into my skin at all it didn't become one with my skin it just low-key sucked overall. I did get this in a boxy charm as well. I was not impressed at all. And I think if you are looking for a BB cream, this is not it. If you have more oily skin, girl, that is not it. I do not recommend this whatsoever. Um, I think you're better off just finding a lighter coverage foundation more than anything. Um, it says that it's supposed to like help reduce fine lines and wrinkles. It just kind of sunk into like anything and just kind of, I don't know, it just looked cakey and gross. So I am gonna pass on this. I do not think this was worth it. This is a brush, okay? <laughs> it's the Billion Dollar Brow Sculpting br bl Brush, Sculpting Duo Brush. This is what those, one of the sides looks like. It's like completely flat and weird. I don't have any other brushes like this. Usually angled brushes have more of a curve to them let me find another one if you can see here they have more of a curve to them they're not so bluntly just like the other side is this i don't know what you'd use it for i tried doing it for like a little micro contour or whatever um i tried using it for highlight Meh. i tried using it for under the eye powder no this just i don't know i can't do this brush this is not it i have a couple of billion dollar brows brushes from Boxy Charms, this did also come in a Boxy Charm. <laughs> um, but this just, I don't know, this was not for me. I wasn't a fan. This didn't really blend out anything. It just kind of like let, just let like a little like streak. I wasn't into it. So um, I think there are better brushes out there. Morphe has some great brushes. Uh, Beach Cosmetics does. I think Tarte has good brushes. Luxie has good brushes. Moda has good brushes. Um, and I don't really think you need 
this brush in particular, uh, I think this brush is really good. It's an E4 from Morphe. This you can use blush, you can do for bronzer. It's great. Uh, this is like an older BH Cosmetics brush that I got in a set like a long time ago. I think if you're looking for an angled brush, go for something with more of like a curve, more something that kind of just naturally fits in the, in the hollows of your face. Whereas this is just kind of like, boom. Like, I don't know, it just, it did not work well for me. So I'm, I don't know how to say this, okay? But this is the Kenia Ontiveros Beauty Blush and Shine Kit. If you guys remember this from my, I think it was my July Boxy Charm. This is what it looks like. <laughs> um, first off, none of the highlighters worked for me. That's okay. Okay, they were a little too dark, but they or they could be gorgeous as eyeshadows, whatever. That wasn't my problem, okay? First off, none of these, these two colors were, are not, they are not flattering on me. Um, whatsoever, these two just, they're not for my skin tone. I'm just gonna say it right now. They didn't really do much for me on my face. I didn't really think they did well. My main issue was with how the product applied on my face. So like with this shade right here, this, I don't know how to describe it. This product literally like went on my face and it just looked like, like cakey almost. I don't know how else to describe it. Like it was not flattering on my face at all. And it wasn't because of the shade. It was because of the formula. The blush did not really blend out very well. I tried this one, the more pinky one. It just, I don't know, man, it was not it. If you need a good blush highlighter palette, BH Cosmetics makes them for under 20 bucks. I believe this one retails for 40 which is crazy. There is no like shade name or like what the name of this palette is besides blush and shine kit. I've never heard of this brand before BoxyCharm, but I don't think that this is worth it by any means. I just, I cannot see myself using this. And I think there are way better products out there. For example, this is a really great one by BH Cosmetics. It's the Glowing and Grease Palette. Whoops, um, one of the highlighters is broken, my bad. But these blushes and stuff in here, they're more flattering. The formula is better, in my opinion. And yeah, so don't worry about that. You're, we're good to go, don't worry. <laughs> like there are seriously better things out there for like half a price or less. Like that I think retails for 16 or 18 bucks. Seriously, like a great deal. So I have a couple liners here, there are three of them. So this one is the KVD Vegan Beauty Inkwell Liner and it's in the shade Dark Wave, which is a bright blue. The bright blue was not what I had the problem with, okay? Um, first off, you're supposed to shake well. So this is me shaking well. It sounds like literal water in here if you listen up close. I don't know, that doesn't sound like, I don't think it would be um, liner to me. I would feel like a liquid liner is a little more, less watery. Um, another thing, this tip is so pointy on the eyes. It literally like hurt my eyes. I'm not even kidding. Like look how fine that is. That looks sharp, okay? And then when I applied it on my eyes, it was streaky. It didn't really do a whole lot. Like, look at that. Let me just apply it for you. Like, I don't know, the pigment, everything, it just, it wasn't there and I love a good colorful liquid liner. Like I'm wearing a purple one right now. I think that there are better things out there. It dried down so matte that you could literally like take your nail and just kind of peel it off. It, I did not like that. Um, <clears throat> if you want a good liquid liner in color, I'm wearing a J-Cat one right now. I think NYX makes some. I don't really know of any other really good colorful liquid liners just cause I don't wear them often. I know Too Faced had some at one point. Those are really good. But as of this one, not a fan. I'm gonna pass on it. This is a Natasha Denona eyeliner pencil. I don't even know if this is like something that like is actually sold in Sephora. This is another BoxyCharm product. Pretty basic black liner. I was so excited about this. Okay, but when I applied it, like if you really give it some swatching, okay? Like that goes pretty black. It's like a gray black. On the eyes, like I applied this on my upper lash line and my waterline and it turned out horribly. I didn't see anything. I didn't see any color. I didn't see anything. And you know, I, I you know, sat there and I just was like, okay, maybe it needs like to be warmed up on the back of your hand, 
right? So I did that. Nothing. Um, I don't know what the heck that was all about, but that was horrible. Um, was not impressed. Urban Decay has some great pencil liners. I also think LA Girl does, NYX does. You don't need to spend that much money on a pencil liner. I mean, Natasha Denona, you think of Natasha Denona and you think, wow, that's gonna be such a great brand. You know, it's expensive, it's gonna work. And that's not always the case. If you really want to invest in a really good pencil liner, the Urban Decay 24 seven pencils, that's where it's at, seriously. So another liner, this is from last month's BoxyCharm. It's the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Vivid Spoky Quartz. First off, I have seen, I watch other people's BoxyCharm videos. The packaging is totally faulty. Like it does not go up, it does not go down. Um, it was so creamy that it, that like it didn't, I don't know, it just doesn't really do much for me. Like, I don't know. I was debating like holding on to it just to kind of like try it out. Like I'm putting it on right now and like ugh, really do a whole lot for me. And it's really annoying that this is like a $24 liner, $20 liner, whatever. And it broke. I'm not the only one who has seen this happen, okay? So that is like a fail for me. If you, again, ColourPop makes good liners. Urban Decay, LA Girl, NYX. And I just thought it was low key a fail. Sorry, Stila, you make some great um, liquid shadows. I love that. I've tried your mascara in the past. That's great. They're, your liquid lipsticks are great. But this, I just did not see as being awesome so i'm even wearing like one of the steel liquid liquid shadows today y'all knew this was coming if you saw last month's box you tried unboxing i'm gonna link that down below for you this is the um eloise the queen eyeshadow palette doesn't this look gorgeous you guys this does not blend whatsoever this retails i guess for 46 dollars um, you would not expect this. Like there are some really pretty like shimmery shades. Like that is gorgeous, right? But if you see in that video, I try blending out shades and it's a nightmare. It is a literal nightmare. I think the some of the shimmery shades were great. Like, look at that lilac lavender color. But these mattes, okay. I swatched that and I was like, oh dear Lord, here we go. That is a one swipe. Let me do that again on camera for you so that you know that I'm not faking you out. And there are multiple shadows that do that. Here's another one. Really pretty, right? Okay, here we go. What is that? Like, come on. And then all this color is still on my finger. I hate that. Literally hate that. I think that is so bad. Um, Let's do one more. There's like a nice red. Am I gonna run out of room on my hand? Let's do it right here. One swipe. Come on. Like if you're gonna charge $46, which I've never even tried this brand before, heard of this brand before. I feel like if you're gonna charge that much, you gotta back it up with the quality. I mean like great mirror, great size. I think this is made in China. Yes, this is made in China, but I just feel like you gotta improve it. I don't know much about this brand, but if you really want some good eyeshadows, I just reviewed the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice eyeshadow palette. I'll link that down below for you. BH Cosmetics has some great palettes along with ColourPop. ColourPop's been really killing it lately. Um, so if you really want some good palettes, I recommend going that route. Save you some cash. If you saw this in, box, in like BoxyCharm Instagram post and you're like, oh my God, I need this. I would recommend just passing on it. This is the only product not in a boxy charm. And this is the LA Girl Glossy Pump it Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Plush. So gorgeous, right? Oh my gosh. And so I got this in like a free gift from Ulta and I was so excited. You know, I love trying out new lip products and I got this and I was like, oh girl, this is gonna be good. Cause I, this is like my shade, love it. Um, so I applied it on my hand, on my lips. It's one of those like thicker kind of lip glosses as you can see. And it burned my lips so bad. Like my lips turned red, they were tingling and not like a good like ooh, little plumping. It was painful. And it even is low key burning my hand a little bit. Like it's tingling my hand. 
I don't like it. I didn't mind the thickness. I don't mind a thicker gloss. Usually those kind of glosses stay on longer. Uh, NYX makes something similar to it. Let me get it for you. Make something similar. I just pulled one shade, but this is the Slip Tease Lip Lacquer. It's a thicker kind of gloss, as you can tell. It has that shiny, it's literally a gloss, okay. But you know, it doesn't have the burning sensation. If you want a good plumping thing, um, Buxom has some really nice lip polishes. They're not as thick, but if you want a good thick one, like pigmented gloss, NYX has them. The um, Smashbox Always On Liquid Pigments are also really good if you really want to splurge, but if you want a good deal, this is ready to go. This just burnt my lips and just made me feel very uncomfortable. All right, you guys, that's it. Yeah, we got talked about some fails. Um, if you want to hear some good products, go check out my favorites videos. I'll link that playlist down below for you. But other than that, I mean, there are such good products. LA Girl, I forgot to mention, they have some great, let me show you. These Shockwave Neon Liners are so good from them. Okay, they're so bold. Like there's a blue one. This one's in the shade electric these are so fun okay they do make some good like that um i've tried some eyeshadow from them in the past very nice so if you want something good from la girl i would maybe stay away from this if you're kind of more sensitive to like plumping stuff and i don't mind a good minty tingle but when it's like burning fire you might want to stay away from it so that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in my next video bye